Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm super excited about today's video because for the longest time I've had messages being like, please can you do some kind of wig styling tutorials on YouTube or just tutorials in general? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it. I never did it. And you've seen by the title and the thumbnail, I'm actually gonna be doing a wig styling video for you all today. Now, this is like a part of the how-to series, but it's also going to become part of its own little wig styling series. And all my wig styling videos will get put into a set playlist on my YouTube so you can literally go on the playlist, look through all the different styles that I've done and pick whatever you need for whatever occasion you're going to, etc, etc. Now, not a disclaimer, but kind of a disclaimer. If you don't have all the tools or access to the tools which I'm using, in this video then there is other ways around it so if you don't have a steamer and you can't afford to buy a steamer um which fyi the one i use in this video was 12 pounds from amazon so they are super cheap you can actually pour boiling hot water over your wig once you've got the rollers in to curl it or you can also hold your wig over a pan whilst it's got boiling hot water in it and the steam will do it that way as well so there is loads of ways around it so just use what you've got challenge yourself and get creative and make what you need and just have fun styling wigs basically um but in this video i'm going to be showing you how to turn your wig from this into this now this wig does look super super intricate and detailed and kind of difficult but honestly it is so so easy i've made sure i've split this tutorial down into nice easy sections so you'll be able to follow along with it but i'm going to start waffling and we're going to jump straight into the tutorial okay so basically you just want to block your lace down like this with multiple pins and that's just to relieve the pressure so that when you're basically pulling on your wig when you're styling you don't get any rips or tears in your lace step number two for the style that we're going to be doing you want to break it down into multiple sections so what i've done is i have sectioned it off here so i've taken this piece of hair from behind the ear and i've followed this line here on my wig block and sectioned it off like this and i've done that on both sides as you can see then at the back i have taken the hair that falls behind this section and up to here on the wig and that is my back section and then the top section is here and this part is going to be all the little curls on the top part so the first thing i like to do is i like to i'm going to back comb up these parts here and what you want to do is you want to section off a small section here at the front like this so you're just going to section off this bit and pull it forwards. Then what you're going to do is you're going to lightly back comb these sections here. And this is the part that's going to be pinned back. So you want a little bit of a, a back comb in there to give it some volume at the side, but not too much. So you're just going to pull the hair out like this. And I'm going to be using a ball bristle brush. And I'm just going to lightly brush the hair down. And when I get to the root, I'm just pulling it back. And I'm just... The reason I'm pulling it back is so that it doesn't, I don't get like a big mat up there. It's just nice and light. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to repeat that all throughout this section of hair, but doing it in nice thin sections. So now all you're going to do is you're just going to leave that to one side and then you're gonna repeat the process on the other side. Now, <laughs> once both sides look hella crazy, now you just wanna lightly just hold the hair out like this, and you just wanna lightly brush over the top layer ever so slightly, and then just brush out the ends. Now we're gonna style up the back part of the wig, and on the back part, you wanna section out the wig so that you have about this much of the hair at the top, you're gonna pin up and leave it unback combed, and then you're just gonna go through and back comb the bottom layers of the wig. So I just make sure my sections are nice and neat. So we're just gonna pin this bit up out of the way and then we're gonna start back combing all this. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take nice sections, like nice wide sections, like this much. And we're just gonna do the same kind of teasing we did here, just a nice light tease, just to add a little bit of volume. And then you're just gonna, cause I'm going to the root like this, as you can see, so we go to the root like that, so you see the fluffiness, and then just comb that up, and then you can see the hair comes out up to the root and pull out like this. And then when you've got it here, get the comb underneath 
and just push like that. So what you're going to do is you just want to repeat that all throughout the wig. But now that all the back combing's done, you just want to let all that down. All you're going to do is just take a brush like this, and we're just going to brush through the ends first. So you just want to brush through all the ends, and then I'm slowly going like this, and then guiding with my hand like this, just to keep the wig tamed and down like this. I'm just going to do this all the way through, and that's just to kind of calm down the back combing and get everything just a bit smoother. Now you're gonna need some clips like this, and all we're gonna do now is, we're just gonna get these sections and we're just gonna pin them back. So what you wanna do is you just wanna bring them around the back like this, and then you're just gonna cross them over and then pin the middle. Now, I just lightly spray it with hairspray like that, and then just lightly smooth it again. And then you just wanna, you see where I've already put this one in? You just wanna pull it round to the back so it meets up with that one. And then I just put the serrated side face down and then the smooth side face up. And then you just wanna go through on like a crisscross like that and just get them really linked in here. And then once you've got it secured like that, I just put like a few clips in just to make sure that it's really held in. And then this little cross method will just keep them nice and secured in. Like that you can see now when I'm pulling on them, there's no give because the cross just interlinks. We're gonna then take another section and this is off of the top part and we're just gonna put this forward and keep that out of the way. That's gonna go over the top. And then what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna back comb a lightly, like I mean the tiniest amount of back comb in all of this just to give it a little bit of height. And once that big cloud of back combing is done, you just want to gather up all the hair and then I just kind of hold it together like this and then brush through the ends of the hair first. And now with this, you just want to go over the top nice and gently because you don't want to disturb anything yet. And you just want to really start to smooth it all out. Now you're just going to get this and then we're gonna tuck this out of the way again, because now we're gonna put these lace sections and smooth them back into the wig. So make sure these have got no tangles in them whatsoever. Make sure all the knots are completely brushed out. And then you wanna lightly spray over with hairspray from a distance. You don't wanna coat it, you just wanna like a nice light dusting. And you really wanna make sure you comb in all the hairs here, which will be like on your face. You want to make sure you really comb these and like just comb them all the way up so they're laying flat and then you're just going to lay this down into the back and then just pull it round and hold it nice and firm and then one more clip we'll just secure it in now to create that super nice dipped line you're going to take an elastic band which you've like chopped in half and you're just going to slide it down the wig and then pull it super tight and then put some pins in it. Now we have all this hair here on top which needs roller in because this is like the feature. So I'm going to be using these rollers here. All my rollers that I'm using in this video I got from the wigdepartment.com. Step number one, see how much hair you want to take so I can just take a nice clean section so now you want to get your water bottle and you're going to spray the hair to spritz it all through so it's damp. Then I'm just going to brush it through so there's no knots in it. So you're going to put the hair on the roller. You've got your finger inside the roller and your other one here to tighten it. And you're just going to pull it back ever so slightly. 
and then you just want to wrap the excess hair around the roller to keep it nice and neat so you get all the ends are all in and then you're just going to roll it all the way up the top like so and then you can just sit like that and then that's one roller done then you're going to get two pins and you just want to slide it under the hair and into the hole and that is your first roller done we'll do another one behind this one so again you just want to pick up a nice amount of hair then you're going to wet the hair so just wet it all the way through so again put your finger in the roller like that and then this one i put it on top then i can slide it up and keep it tight then i just wrap this hair here around the roller like so and i kind of wrap it like on itself so then i know that then i can trap all that hair underneath this and then i twist it so that then the roller goes diagonally over all the hair to sandwich it all in and then you roll her in and then you just lock it in place with some pins So this is what the top should look like once it's done and rolled. Now we need to do all this hair here and we're going to be using these little mini red ones to do that. So now I'm going to show you how to do a couple of the red rollers so just wet the hair down and be extra generous with this one just so you can get the hair super 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 wet. And then again you're just going to get your roller and wrap around all the hair like so. And then you're just gonna wrap it around and in like that. And as long as you get the inside fine, there you go. That's literally all you need to do with these. Now I'm just gonna speed through this and I'll be back with it all rollered. So the back section is now fully rollered. So now we need to steam it. You're gonna need like a carrier bag like this. This is a test scored one. And I'm just gonna pin the carrier bag in and along this to stop the steam from going up and onto this pack. So I just wanna trap it into this bit. So do not judge me. This is my old battered steamer. I got it off Amazon, it was like 11 pounds, but she works. Now that my steamer's heated up and there's steam flying everywhere, don't burn yourself. Just gonna stick it inside the hole and then hold it close so the steam can't escape and then just keep it in there until you run out of water in the steamer basically. Okay, so now that this bit here has been steamed, you're just gonna leave this bag on for a couple of hours just so it cools down and dries. And then we're gonna do the top ones here. But instead of actually putting a bag on these ones, all I'll do is I'll just turn my steamer on, let it heat up so I put a fresh water in it. And then you're just gonna hold these ones here and you're gonna cook these ones individually. So now that the wig is fully steamed, I'm just going to let this sit, cool down and dry for three or four hours and then I'll be back and we can do all the styling. So it's been like five or six hours and now I'm just going to remove all of the rollers at the back. So I've just removed the elastic band and then can you see how it just creates a like beautiful wedge. So now I know that that's where my clips are going to go and then all this here we will just start to comb out and back comb up. So when you're brushing out curls I just start on the ends and just start to brush through. So what I'm gonna do now is, is I'm just gonna brush it so that the ridge is really visible here. And then just before we start back combing up this bit here, we're just gonna secure it with some of these little duck bill clips here. So all you wanna do is just slide these in along that ridge just to keep everything 
neat like that. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is, is like I do every time I back comb, you just wanna take a top layer off to pin out of the way, so that will be like a cushion over the top to hide everything. And then you're just gonna start working the hair in sections. So I'm gonna lift it all up and work from underneath so I can really pack in the back comb in here and then soften it as I go up so all the thickness of the back comb is hidden underneath the cloud of hair. Now with that same brush that we've been using to do all the back combing, you're just gonna hold the hair out here on the ends and you're lightly just gonna start from the top and you see how it's just getting the hair fluffy and you're just gonna work that down and then just start packing that in at the root and fluffing it up. like so and then you'll be left with like this big fluffy cloud of hair which is like perfect and now I'm just going to work my way through this big clump of hair so now the back combing is done you can see you've just got this big cloud of hair here so now what you're going to do is you're going to let down all the top parts lightly tease the ones on the top just so that they all blend together there we go. And that is the poodle bit more or less done. We will go back through and just tame some of the curls a little bit, but we need to secure in this with actual grips now. So you're just gonna take out all the duckbill clips. All right, so you can see here now, you see we've got this dip here from the elastic band. That's what we wanna keep. So you just wanna run the comb down to find the dip, and then you just wanna move any back comb in into the fluffiness and away from the dip. So can you see how we're creating this super clean ridge? Now, I needed to get this wig done super fast because I'm wearing it, literally I'm doing the wig in the same day as the makeup look. So normally I would have spray painted the grip so they match the colour of the wig but I didn't have time so we're just going to use these darker brown ones and you're just going to go across and you're just going to secure all the hair in that little dip area here. So you just put your hand in like this and then you want to put it with the groove side down and then you can just go in and just put them in. And all you're doing is you don't want them to be like crazy tight but you just want it to be enough that it just sits in there and like keeps everything together. And I will put these clips all the way around the ridge mark where I put the elastic band just to secure everything in. So now you can see all my grips are in here. And then just to hide them, even though you can't see them anyway, but just to hide them, just get your little rat tail and just really tease up near the base of them. I just push the hair like that and do it all the way around. like that, and then now you can see, you've just got one nice, smooth section. And then all you wanna do now is you wanna go in and you can just back comb it up into shape. You know, like there's some drop down bits here, but that gives it like a nice bit of shape, but you can just go in and redefine it. And then one thing I like to do as well is if you can just get the end of the comb and you can just slightly lift things to make it a bit more bushier like that and then just like scrunch it to help form the curls and then I get a little bit of hairspray and just dust the hair with it and then when you scrunch it now the curls will form back in it and then they'll stay okay so my back poodleness is all finished and looking nice and fluffy. Now we just need to dress all the curls on the top. So I'm just gonna start by taking out all the rollers and seeing where we end up then. So now we're left with like these beautiful ring lights like this and all we're going to do is just start to play around with them and start to shape them 
in and around and on top to create some kind of poodleness on the top as well. But a bit more of like a controlled poodle. So I'm going to start at the back, so I'll brush all these curls forwards, get your hair, and then you want to get your comb, and you just want to go like this on the hair, just to kind of make it like hold its shape a little bit better. Hairspray and smooth around and then just drop her down and see how she falls. And then you can literally just see like they just fall and create like these big messy waves and curls. And then once you're happy with it, you just want to secure it with hairspray, like that. And then you're just going to start to press down any flyaways, just to kind of smooth out the curls. So it's more like a sculpture rather than it being frizzy like this hair here. Now we just need to make sure that this up here is set. Now obviously every time you do each layer, you want to set each layer. But then at the very end, I like to go in with a really really generous layer of hairspray. And then with the hairdryer on medium heat, protect it with your hand and then just slowly heat it up. And there you have it. I'm gonna go take all the pins out and then I'll be back with the final wig. And here's the finished wig. I am honestly obsessed. Like, look how fun it is. Look how poofy and poodly it is at the back. And then you've got this super nice, beautiful crown. You could put some rhinestones in it if you wanted. Like, just got some spirit gum and, like, glued a little rhinestone to it or something. You could put glitter spray in this bit so it's super sparkly when you're in the club. But, yeah, how easy... Like, honestly, let me know in the comments down below how easy you thought it is, not thought, how easy it was to do this wig by watching this tutorial. Like, because honestly, I think it's like one of the easiest styles, but like the most effective styles to do. But yeah, this is the finished wig. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this tutorial and the wig, and if you would wear this wig and what colour you would wear it in, because I think I'm going to make myself a few more of this style, so... I want to know what your colour inspirations are, I might make a couple so you can all see what it would look like. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what other wig tutorials you would like to see. You can um, send me some pictures via DM or tweet me them of like styles that you want me to try and incorporate into my tutorials. And if I can do them, then I will do them for you all. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. So if you like the video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this video and this wig and what other tutorials you would like to see and I guess that's it. So until then, I'll see you on the next one. See ya!